last year and I worked in the uh, seasonal department and she'd always have to bring back um, returns and stuff and I'd always find a way to get in her way and start talking to her. <laughs> she was beautiful and uh, her eyes, you just get captivated by her eyes um, and her smile and uh, just she just comes off as someone that you want to talk to and want to get to know. I had um, some friends over, just people that we worked with and she came over and uh, Everyone else kind of left and we were just sitting around still watching movies and and she she denies it to this day but I say that she kept looking up at me and making faces like she wanted a kiss so I I kissed her and then uh, so from there we kind of started getting closer and then just uh, progressed from there. We got her her favorite white roses and her favorite chocolates and she had been uh, out late taking care of her nephew and so when she got home I had everything hidden and I went down and, and got it all out. And, brought it up to her when she was on the couch and kind of surprised her that way. She got a little teary-eyed and she was uh, smiling, really happy and yeah, good reaction. <laughs> I'm really a little bit nervous right now. I haven't been nervous the whole time but I think it just kicked in. <laughs> Seeing everybody and everybody looks so beautiful and I can't wait to see the flowers too and I'm just excited to marry my best friend. I'm just, I'm excited to see her. I haven't seen her since yesterday night. Um, I'm excited to see her dress and I'm sure she's going to look beautiful. So just excited to see her and uh, yeah. Uh, Nini, I, uh, I love you so much and I can't wait to uh, start the rest of our lives together. I hope we have a great day. Janine and Terry, I welcome you here in the name of Holy Rosary Parish, the Archdiocese of Winnipeg, and of the Universal Church. We are here to celebrate the triumph of love over the vision of life over death. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege for me to welcome all of you here to our parish community as Janine and Terry make a covenant of their lives. Now, I know we don't use the word covenant very often in our everyday speech. And I'm willing to make a gentleman's bet that some people here never even heard the word covenant. <laughs> but covenant is about a way of life. It's the ups and it's the downs, it's the good times, it's the bad times. Janine and Terry are making a covenant today in the vows that they will be making with each other. And because they invited us to be here today and we showed up, we're making a covenant with them. We're saying to them, by just being here, we want you to be married, we bless your marriage, and we will journey with you on your covenant. great privilege to be asked by Terry to be his best man and I'd like to take a few moments to say a few words about our bride and groom. Terry and I have been friends for two decades. You would think that over 20 years a lot has changed. Well for Terry and I not much has changed at all. When we were six years old we began having sleepovers. Now that we're nearing 26 I still find myself sleeping over at Terry's house. In fact I woke up there today. Terry and Janine have been going out for I don't know how long, I'm just going to say seven years. <laughs> and through that time I've really seen Terry mature and grow, and I've seen firsthand how happy Janine makes him and vice versa. I'm just so thrilled and happy that they found each other and wish to spend the rest of their lives together. And I know that Terry will treat Janine well, and Janine if he doesn't, don't be afraid to go in his toolbox and hit him upside the head. <laughs> Firstly, 
would like to say how amazing you look tonight, Janine. I knew you'd be beautiful, but you're absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> the good times Janine and I have shared are countless. I couldn't possibly ask for a better friend. Janine constantly has me laughing. She's the kind of person who will always go out of her way to make her friends and family feel special. She is the kindest heart in the world. After all, she's the only person I know who would get mugged after giving a complete stranger a ride downtown. <laughs> When Janine told me that Terry had asked her to marry him, I wasn't at all surprised. I've seen this couple through the highs and lows of a relationship. Despite being polar opposites, Janine and Terry found a balance in each other. Together, they make a strong, loving, devoted couple. You truly complete one another. I'm ecstatic for both of you. What language did Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John write in? What was their language to write the scriptures? Take our guess. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Hebrew, Aramaic, Latin, Greek. Hebrew. Gang. Her mouth just opened. She caught four flies. <laughs> <laughs> Aramaic? Wrong. God. Okay. Jesus spoke Aramaic. That was his dialect. They prayed in Hebrew. People knew Latin, but Greek. Greek was the language of writing. Now, with the Greeks, they would have different verbs for different things. So, for instance, take the verb to love. If we're talking about family love, then they would use the verb storge. Talking about brotherly love, they would use the word filiet, Philadelphia, city of brotherly love, right? They were talking about sexual love, they would use the verb erotica, even eros. We pull it right out for English, right? But when they're talking about, let's say, when they're talking about Jesus says, love your enemies, love, love, they use the verb agapan. And you can't translate agapan in English with love. Agapan means, I will nourish you. I won't do anything to destroy you. So you're young. So, storge, you're a family. <laughs> you're best friends, see the end. <laughs> You're young, lots of erotica. <laughs> right. When you get older, less erotica and more filien. Right. Then, but the verb that holds it all together is agapan. Because agapan means, I'm going to nourish you with my kindness. I'm going to nourish you with my romance. I'm going to nourish you with my words. I'm going to nourish you every way I can. take this opportunity to welcome you into the family but I'm sure you know that you have been welcome since you both started dating every father hopes his daughter will find a smart reliable sensible and considerate young man but with all that you're also calm collected and attached I so I have to say I'm a contented father as I am delighted to see my daughter looking so happy and well today. Janine, if you want something from Terry, just ask for it. Don't forget, he is a man and hints don't work. Uh, two things uh, that as parents we try to give our, our children, one is roots and the other is wings. And Terry, you've grown your wings, and man, did you grow. <laughs> and Janine, we believe, Terry, that you've found a perfect partner. She's creative, strong, smart, and very beautiful. We feel like Janine's been a part of the family for a long time now, but we take this opportunity to officially welcome Janine and all the Frey family to ours. Terry and Janine, here are a few things to remember. Life is good. Take care of each other and the dogs. Don't sweat the small stuff. Oh yeah, and Terry, the dock at the lake has to come out the long weekend. I need your muscles. <laughs>
I, Terry, take you, Janine. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Janine, take you, Terry. I, Janine, take you, Terry. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church by the Lord in his goodness. Strengthen your consent and to you go with his blessings. When God is joined, you must not cry. Amen. <laughs> May the Lord bless these rings which you give to each other as the sign of your love and fidelity. Janine, take this ring. Janine, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Harry, take this ring. Terry, take this ring as a sign of my love, as a sign of my love and, fidelity. and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. to the bride and groom. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, may life be as long as you wish and have all you need as long as you live. May the road you choose be smooth and the burden light. May your choice be everlasting and may all your pain be champagne. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, and you may kiss the bride again. Thank <laughs> you.